Moderna says it will submit its coronavirus vaccine for emergency use by the FDA today, and the first human trials were here in Seattle. Dr. Larry Corey is the world-renowned virologist at Fred Hutch, who we've been so blessed to have on a handful of times over the last couple of months. You're heading up, uh, Dr. Corey, the, basically the synergy of all of our country's vaccine developments, and I know you just finished a meeting moments ago with Anthony Fauci. What did you guys talk about? Well, Tony's been my friend and colleague for 35 years, so we meet um, <laughs> many times a week, actually, to talk about the vaccine program, and that's what we talked about. We actually talked about the EUA and the Moderna application this morning. And so what do you think we should know about Moderna? Because the company says that the vaccine is 94% effective in not just creating bad outcomes, preventing that, but preventing people from getting it at all. How does that compare with the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca? Well, the Pfizer and, uh, and Moderna vaccines are very similar, and the data are looking, you know, wonderfully uh, similar. Um, that the, the data submitted today is even uh, sort of shows again this 94 percent uh, effectiveness. What is really impressive when we call severe cases, which is hospitalization, getting on ventilators, um, it was essentially 100 percent protective. There were 30 cases of severe disease on the on the placebo control trial that we designed, and all 30 were in the placebo group and none were in the vaccinated group. So um, these data are very strong with respect to the benefit, the personal benefit that one would get from vaccination. It's natural, I feel like, for people to then race to the conclusion, great, then the vaccine's on the way. But there's always a but when it comes to these initial announcements, right? What's the but with this one? Well, the but is, is for us to get used to the fact that there's going to be vaccine scarcity. Um, there's only 20 million doses of, of um, vaccine uh, available in the month of uh, December between Pfizer and uh, Moderna. It gets better each month, but it's, it's like 35 million in January, 35 million doses more in February, 50 million more and 60 million more in January, in, in, in March and April. So we have, it's two doses per person and we have many, many people in the country that need to be vaccinated. The medical workers, um, the elderly, um, people with comorbidities, uh, high risk and our essential workers. And that's, you know, almost 180 million people. That's 360 million doses. So. Um, the advisory committees that are meeting will, uh, and the state will have to decide how to distribute this equitably. Before we let you go, Dr. Corey, we know that uh, Biden's and Trump's coronavirus teams are meeting today for the first time. If you were at that meeting, maybe you are going to be there virtually. What would you tell these two task forces today? Well, I think the two major issues are um, to provide um, leadership and guidance as it relates to the vaccine distribution. And also, um, I think we need to develop better, more efficient diagnostic testing and, and make diagnostic testing almost like home testing. So we can do what we do for our sports teams that we actually do for our schools and our workers, um, that um, we should be able to have technologies that have been invented and are available um, to get rapid home testing um, so that we can, um, you know, essentially uh, make access, make diagnoses and do contact tracing as well as individual health behaviors um, in, a, in a more uh, real-time basis. Dr. Larry Corey, thank you so much for your time as always, and thank you for everything you've done during this pandemic to try to make the world literally a safer place. Well, thanks for the kind words, Steve.